間專注開發矯形植入技術嘅初創，除咗研發通過喺金屬螺絲釘同埋釘嘅尖端套入一種新嘅聚合物軟件，以減低手術後需要重返醫院嘅機會，同時佢哋亦都製作咗新嘅電腦模擬技術去移骨植入測試同埋手術規劃。咁你哋而家研發緊呢一個技術啦，比起而家真係用緊嘅虛擬手術啊，或者係一啲模擬手術嘅。The way that we have it set up is it's a platform where new implant designs can be evaluated, and it can really be any kind of company. It doesn't need to be、um, one that's using a soft tip.、Um, imagine that you have designed an axe for cutting a tree, but you don't have a tree to test it on for some reason, or you don't want to hurt the tree. So imagine the tree in this case is like the bone. So if you want an actual realistic structure. The current technology can kind of like just touch it, just kiss it, and we can go all the way through. So,、uh, as far as we are aware, we're the first,、um, the first team to ever achieve that. If you have your implant design, you can test it, breaking all the way through the bone, and see how much force was required, and basically avoid that. 創辦人表示，佢哋嘅資料庫已經擁有足夠嘅數據，協助模擬身體各部分嘅骨科手術。而佢亦都透露，現時全球首四間嘅骨科植入物製造商已經使用有者評估佢哋嘅研發產品。咁你又點睇咧？呢一個虛擬手術嘅使用啦，甚至係嚟緊嘅應用，會唔會有一啲新嘅進展咧 ？There will be、uh, continued breakthroughs in this in this area. So I would say. That increasing computational power, the increasing understanding of how imaging translates to real behavior of、uh, biological materials, means that、um, I think it's it's destined to to improve. The the issue with, with all things in medicine is that you have to consider what is actually going to be useful,、um, because. Well, many things can be done, but not everything actually will、um, improve the health of the patient. If you're talking about virtual surgery, how much time do you have from the time that an injury occurs to the time when a surgery is performed? Is there adequate time to do this? The second would be, what does it teach the surgeon actually? If it doesn't teach the surgeon something useful, then there's no point. Uh, the next would be: Does it at, does it expose the patient to additional radiation from right? That might not be worth the、uh, the the risk, especially for younger people. Next, then you would ask the question of、um, who will pay for it. So the cost has to be built into this system in a way that is intelligent. All of these things, I would say, are kind of dragging down <laughs> different technologies. But the things that I mentioned before are pushing it up. The new computing power. Making it cheaper and faster to try out things, all, all this kind of thing. 創辦人認為喺香港發展醫療科技、人才同埋設備都非常充足。同時，因為相關嘅研發公司喺香港較少，所以比較容易爭取到資助。